Well, a deep nostalgia overwhelms me, I'm standing alone before my former home. Mm, warms my hippie heart, yeah. Just like with Camilo and my old typewriter. My first private home in India. Mm -hmm. mm, when I went independent from David and Sherry. Yeah, I moved into this $5 a month idyllic romantic love nest. With my new French lover, Francoise. Uh, well, until she flipped out completely. Some of the Zadu type hippies turned her on to the Tura on the other end of the beach. You mess with the Tura, you gotta know the exact does or it's poison. And, uh, yeah, she flipped out on that. Overdosed on De Toro. Mm -hmm. Well, it was in this path that I experienced the writing frenzy to write Earthquakes in five days. Wrote the whole book in longhand in five days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, two-foot stack of those little Indian copy books that cost like a nickel each. <laughs> Get them from Joe Bananas. Yeah, I was on fire. <laughs> and drugs. Mm -hmm. I photographed the old lava stone house. I get an intriguing idea. Well, I meander back uh, to the Anjuna Villa guest house and make use of their metered international phone. I call my photo manager guru Steve in San Francisco and ask him uh, kindly ship me a box of Earth Freaks the book I'm just talking about that I wrote right here in 1971 when I was 24 and uh, just for the fun of it yeah All right. well the express package somehow makes it <laughs> to Joe Bananas 24 days later and what incredible fun to sit beside Eddie during lunch. I make thought, thoughtful signings of the book, give them away to the old hippies hanging out with me, who were hanging out with me in this same neighborhood 37 years ago now. Oh, yeah. And Eddie is gracious to co-sign a few copies, too, because uh, his picture's in the book and so on. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I, I simply create uh, my books for pure artistic fun I'm having a lot of fun right now Oh, and for others on the spiritual path yeah I'd like to leave a few footprints of my insights behind and uh, that's why I'm writing these compassionate reflections about Eddie and performing them. Uh, Eddie's a great man. And I want his spirit to carry on. In currently living humans. Simple as that. Yeah. Well, uh, in a couple of days I hand out 32 books. My books, Earth Freaks at Joe Bananas. And uh, I'll just read one paragraph from the opening page. Uh, what a central body rush to wake up in this humid, dreamy bed in Ventian, Laos. Mm -hmm. I kiss Rainbow's warm nipples to wake her. And uh, like animals, we instinctively nuzzle. Mm -hmm and intertwine and uh, our good morning fuck mm -hmm. oh, I yawn like a giant hey hey baby uh, what should we do today baby uh, I, uh, why do anything size rainbow 
besides, I got to untangle myself. Uh, on, on, mosquito net is collapsing here. Uh, she finally sits up and runs her fingers through her black cascading. This is a picture of her in Earth Ridge. Naked in bed. I'm not going to show it to you. Yeah, uh, my, my, my lady's uh, right. Why walk into a space-time trap trip first thing in the morning? I mean, I do what I have to do. Take a shower, shit, shave, and shampoo. That already kicks a big hole in the time fuck. So reads the stone on this Laotian uh, potent grass. I uh, climb under the mosquito net, slither onto my hippie gauzes, and we. The pre dawn mist away. Uh. And the sun also rises over me and ten. Earth freaks out, just saying. Classic third planet. 